Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to another part of my Golang scientific programming which is basically StarCraft 2 data processing and if you haven't seen the past parts there is already part 2 available of my journey through uh, this scientific tool programming and this tool is uh, created for the needs of my research, for the needs of my uh, dataset processing that later on will be published and, and so on. So if you want to have a look at the code, it's currently unavailable, but it will be after I'm done with it. So it will be finished when it's finished. And apart from that, today we'll be doing some debugging in the anonymize players function which I have noticed that does not provide me with the the output that I require and I need basically to find why that's the case and solve this problem and let me find and maybe showcase what is the what is the problem with the file that's being Okay, so this is sample data that I uh, extract from one of the replays and the problem is at the bottom of that file where I anonymize the tune player description map so that you cannot find the unique player that played this specific game and at least you cannot do that easily and so the thing is that typically in all of the games that I received uh, and that are contained in the dataset, I supposed to have two players in each of those games. And as you can see, there is only one uh, being created or, or being uh, outputted in the final file. And so that is my problem and I will be trying to debug the uh, the anonymization uh, function to find the problem and okay, so first of all uh, where I would like to see what is happening is prob probably in here let's just run it and let's see if I can find the problem okay so first of all I have one of the old breakpoints that is stopping the program just after I define the Dirty Tune Player description map which indeed contains two game tunes, two player unique identifiers. Right now we have incrementing one of the maps but I don't need to have a breakpoint there and we can see that indeed I have the, one of the tune uh, descriptions in here and let's see what am I what am I trying to do here okay so in this case this is the first replay I guess that the tune should not be within the map so it should jump to this part and in and it does because the okay uh, while checking for the key in the map is not like it's not okay there is no such key in the map that i am using and so it should assign player counter which in this case would be zero to this right and then increment the player counter and next time I have another player he should be a player of player counter plus plus which would be uh, which would be where is it it's tricky and I think I already found the problem because 
Hmm. Because in here, I use the player's anonymized map. But here, I do something else, which... Okay, I add it to... Okay, I get it. I think I found the problem already. Or maybe not. I will let let me let me verify. First of all, uh, where I would like to see what is happening is prob probably in here. Let's just run it and let's see if I can find the problem. Okay, so first of all, I have one of the old breakpoints that is stopping the program just after I define the Dirty Tomb Player description map, which indeed contains two game tunes, two player unique identifiers. Right now we have incrementing one of the maps, but I don't need to have a breakpoint there. And we can see that indeed I have the, one of the tune uh, descriptions in here. And let's see what am I what am I trying to do here? Okay. So in this case, this is the first replay. I guess that the tune should not be within the map so it should jump to this part and in and it does because the okay uh, while checking for the key in the map is not like it's not okay there is no such key in the map that i am using and so it should assign player counter which in this case would be 0 to this right and then increment the player counter and next time I have another player he should be a player of player counter plus plus okay, so I think I have found the problem and the problem seems to be within the anonymized tune desk map and this is caused uh, because probably of the empty player desk, <laughs> empty player description, right? Which I pass in here. And this is initialized, like this is passed as just an empty play description, which I don't get it. I don't get why should I do that in here, why not? Instead of that, just like delete this empty player description, right? And instead of the equals operator, let's use the walrus or however it's called. The walrus operator, I don't know how it's uh, called in Golang, it's just uh, assignment, right? So let's do assignment, let's uh, delete this from here. The same goes for this, right? But I am afraid that this might not solve this problem, solve the problem, right? But it seems... Okay, I understand, because... Uh, okay. So... Tune description map. And tune description map should be persistent this is this is some convoluted code and this is some convoluted logic I don't really get okay, it so I believe that uh, first of all I should be using a refer references right why would I use this? And now, here and here, 
I should be just referencing the new tune desk map that's here instead of possibly copying the data. And then here, I should be doing what I've did uh, here, right? Maybe, just maybe this will work, but I have no idea. Let's check it out. This works. This works. This works. And it seems that it works because we have two of those structures. In the first replay. And then we have only one of these structures in the second replay, which isn't supposed to happen, I think. So let's break the program and let's run it again and see what is happening within the second replay that why does it even pass through the checks? So this is the first one and this one is supposed to work while it seems that it's supposed to work because the dirty tune player description Hey what's up Mobius? No it's not quantum mechanics. Unfortunately, I think quantum mechanics oh, I think I have found the, the problem. The problem is that it's like the player list is sometimes not containing two players while the tune description map which is in um, like here contains two players, right? Let's 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 see for the next replay. Yeah, see, so the player list contains only one player. While the tune description map contains two players. Same goes for this one, same goes for this one. Here we have two and we have two, so we have a matching number. So that's good, right? Again, we have two, so we have a matching number. And the problem is not with my algorithm, because my algorithm works correctly the problem is that there's like just empty data somewhere in there and in order for me to find it I need to maybe go back to restructuring and see how do I create the specific structures that I'm referencing to like replay data details player list for example Okay, so let's try and make a breakpoint within the restructuring and see if for the process replaced, like, is it really the case that I don't have the data available from the SC2prot or S2prot? I have solved it. You know why? Like, because... I check init player dot name versus player dot name and player dot name will be including the clan tag and so it just says okay there is no clan tag like I only look for spoon for example right or for something else while init player is within like the name for the init player is just the name without the clan tag right. yeah and here it's blah 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 it's funny right so let's fire up firefox and just look for it So golang search for substring within a string. Go test string contains substring. 
Okay. And it just seems that we can use string contains from the strings package just to know if one is contained within the other. And so this check here should not be about the equality, but it should be verifying the init player if it's a substring of player.name. So once again, string contains bank. We can we can even copy that one here. And here we'll have the player name player.name and on the other side we'll have init player dot name but this then we have a problem because let's just say some people might have similar nicknames and how am I going to find them? I am not sure yet. I'll probably have to check for some more stuff like race, uh, for something else, for the team ID, and you know. But I am really glad I have at least solved this problem for now. And let's verify if it works at least for the test set of uh, of my data, of my like initially picked data for like testing purposes. And so let's uh, delete the previous uh, previous outputs. And let's just override it. Okay, something doesn't work. In anonymized replay. Hmm. What happened here? Okay, I think I've deleted it. Okay, anyway, right now it should work. Okay, so running the program, the program works, or it seems to work. And right now let's see the output and let's verify if it does indeed work as expected. So we need to unpack two of those which you can already see and check if the, fir the first one was correct. The first one was containing two players and we see that this is true once again, the ca this is correct. And the second one was not working correctly. And now it does work. So indeed I have solved the initial problem which was blocking me, but now I need to define some comments so that later on I will know where to what to work on. So this technically is no longer true, this comment, right? And it needs to be another one to do. And what I am afraid about is like that we are checking only the names. It is not sure that there cannot be names that are similar enough so that they will pass this test. And this is this is very important. So let's define two to-dos for that. Because this is not a good enough check for this case. And just because of that, uh, I will have to do a lot more work around this area so that I am sure that as I have said before I have finished the problem solving for today and if you are interested in checking out more of the Golang StarCraft 2 data processing library programming 
check out the part 1 and part 2, which you can see on the top right screen, top right hand corner on the screen here. And hopefully you can also check out my other social media, so visit my Instagram, Twitter and so on, because I always put out the information about my videos there. And hopefully you will watch the next parts that I have prepared. And today we have solved the problem with anonymization, which was indeed in here. Because I was doing the wrong checks, because there was a game tag contained within the player.name, if I am correct. And this didn't pass the checks and resulted in faulty data being generated in here, which I could not overlook and make it into the final final like processing library or processing tool and so I hope that next time I can introduce more checks, more validity, more integrity checks to my data and solve some other problems that I know that are within this code base and yeah thank you very much for watching and hope